My name is Dr. Anthony Fauci, and I'm the director of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases at the National Institutes of Health. Well, it's something that we totally expected when you have an outbreak in a country as big as China with as many people as China, and you have the degree of travel between the United States and, and, and uh, China, there's no doubt that sooner or later, we were gonna see a case, and we have. This was a 35-year-old uh, young man uh, who it works here in the United States, who visited Wuhan, the place where the big outbreak is, uh, came back to the United States without any symptoms. And then a day after he arrived back in the United States, he began to develop symptoms. He went to a clinic uh, with fever and symptomatology, which was typical of what we're seeing with the novel coronavirus. They sent a specimen to the CDC, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, and it came back positive. So now he's in isolation in a hospital uh, being observed and taken care of. Well, the virus is a coronavirus, namely a virus that we have a lot of experience with, but it's a brand new virus. The coronaviruses, there are about seven coronaviruses that infect humans. Four of them are those that are responsible for the benign common cold. And coronaviruses account for anywhere between 10 and 30% of all the common colds that we get. However, in 2002, we had experience with the first coronavirus that jumped species from an animal reservoir and caused the now famous SARS, the Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome. That was a global pandemic with about 8,000 cases and about 774 deaths. Then in 2012, we had MERS, the Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, another coronavirus that jumped species from an animal reservoir and now in 2019, 2020, we have the same thing, another coronavirus, different from SARS, different from MERS, but nonetheless still in the same family of coronaviruses that obviously jumped from an animal species. We don't know exactly how that happened, which is now infecting individuals. And it's clear from this rapidly evolving situation that there is human to human transmissibility because just yesterday there was a report that 15 hospital workers, healthcare workers were infected from a patient in a Wuhan hospital. Right now there are about 300 cases with six deaths, which mean of those symptomatic cases, because those are the only one that we've been able to recognize, the symptomatic cases about 2% of them die, so it's about a 2% mortality. That may get worse, it may get better, we're not sure because we're still very much in the evolving state of this learning about this brand new outbreak. The incubation period has not been precisely delineated, but it is felt to be somewhere between two and 14 days. Well, uh, right now, it's a combination of the symptoms that you get and the epidemiological connection to the place where there is an outbreak. I mean, we're in the middle of a, of a season where there's a lot of respiratory disease. Flu is all over right now, and there are other respiratory illnesses. So obviously, not everybody who has a respiratory illness is going to have this coronavirus by any means. But if you have a respiratory illness, cough, fever, and you are in this particular geographic area, Wuhan in China, or you have connection or exposure to someone with documented disease, then you are suspected of having this. And once you're suspected of having this, now that we know what the virus is, we have a test for the virus. And that's how you make the diagnosis. Well, right now, there have been two cases in Thailand one case in Japan, one case in South Korea. There has been a case just recently reported that came to France, so there's a case in France. And then within China, it's not only Wuhan, there are cases in Shanghai, in Beijing, and in Guangdong province. So clearly it's starting to disseminate in a much wider way. Well, I mean, obviously, if you do the right things and identify them and are alert to them and do the kinds of screening, you can do what we did with this patient 
who came in in Washington state. And that is to identify it, to isolate him, and to make sure he doesn't spread it to other people. There is no specific treatment. There's only symptomatic treatment. So if you wind up getting a secondary bacterial infection, you can get put on an antibiotic. If you have respiratory distress and you need help with breathing, you could be put on a respirator. But there is no proven specific effective treatment for the novel coronavirus. Well, the people who've been infected had a wide range from 18 to 70 something. So it doesn't specifically, obviously, the elderly get more of a chance of getting complications, but that's true for any respiratory virus. The older you are, if you're elderly, 65 or older, you have a greater chance of complications. But there's no age restriction on this. Well, it belongs to the same general family that they're both coronaviruses, and there's a degree of molecular homology with it, but it certainly is clearly a different virus. Well, it's very difficult to say we've only had it in our hands for a few days, so it's quite difficult to do that. We'll be able to understand that as time goes by. It's completely unpredictable to say whether or not we're going to get another coronavirus outbreak. We didn't expect SARS, we didn't expect MERS, and we didn't expect this new novel coronavirus. It's very difficult to predict when a virus is going to jump species from an animal reservoir. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the large percentage of new viruses are zoonotic. They exist in animals. They generally don't make animals sick. Then when they jump species, they make humans sick. Uh, the, the coronavirus of SARS had its origin in a bat reservoir, which then infected civic cats and raccoon dogs. The virus, the coronavirus that was responsible for mares, again originated in bats, infected camels, and then ultimately infected humans. We're not sure where this particular coronavirus originated from, but I wouldn't be surprised if it originated from similar types of reservoirs. I think we're good. We did good. All right. All right, take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.